Hi, my name is David Eves. I'm a faculty member here at the Harvard Kennedy School, where my research focuses on digital transformation, particularly in government. Um, uh, first, I wanted to open up and thank His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan uh, for his support in the research, that, some of the research that we're doing here at the Kennedy School. Um, and of course, also, I would like to thank Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nayan. Um, I know the two of them feel that digital transformation and the role of government in providing services in a digital era is of enormous importance and are thinking a lot about uh, how to be promoting that both in their own country and across the region more broadly. Um, there's, there's a few things I'd love to just talk about a little bit around the research that we're doing. Um, I'm focused on a few areas. One thing that I feel people in the audience need to be thinking a fair bit about um, as they go down the path of digital transformation is uh, really begin to think about how government might be reorganized in this world. Um, I think one of the big mistakes uh, that we run the risk of making is simply assuming that nothing's going to change, just the services will become more efficient and that they'll be on computers and that they'll be managed more efficiently um, and digitally. Whereas I think that would actually miss the enormous opportunity. When I look back at what has happened over the last 20 or 30 years around the use of technology uh, in government, the places where you know there's been impact but I think short of what we could realize is that what we've really just done is move things from a piece of paper into a Word document and while that is digital um, I think it still can, leaves us with the constraint of thinking in terms of the piece of paper and so that becomes kind of the, the fundamental organizing unit of information and it doesn't cause us to rethink about how we would redo a service from the ground up in a digital space and that's, I think, the thinking that people are really starting to explore now, um, particularly as services move to the cloud, but just more in generally, people are really beginning to think about what might services look like if they were radically restructured. Um, I think the danger there is people are kind of focused on what the service would look like if it was different, and what they're not thinking about is how the government might look different. And so part of the research that we're focused on is thinking about what is the governance structures of a world where we really engage in digital transformation and the services um, are really thought from the ground up to be digital and it may be that the the building blocks of government and the way that we structure governance um, looks really really different in this world the the second piece that i'm really interested in is um, thinking about what are the the kind of responsibilities that governments are going to have in this new world uh, if you think if you kind of look at the technology companies that have emerged in the last 10 to 20 years um, they are enormously powerful because they have been able to gather vast amounts of data about their citizen, about their customers, and that that data gives them an edge over the competitors who did not have that data. They know more about them. They know how to engage them. They know how to uh, nudge them to buy things. We're certainly nudged to buy certain types of things. Um, there's all sorts of benefits that have accrued from that. You know, when you use a lot of these services, you get recommended things that you did not know existed, but actually genuinely are useful to you and are interesting to you. Um, I think that in the hands of government, this type of information becomes very, very interesting. And there's a huge responsibility that we have to think about um, how government is going to use that information, how do we as citizens want government to use that information, um, and how do we need to structure um, laws, policies, and the, the kind of the governance structure of government itself to enable us to equip a world where the, the values that we care about and the outcomes that we want are actually created by these new government institutions, by these new services, and we don't kind of stumble blindly into a world where government has a lot more power or maybe a lot less power vis-a-vis -vis other players um, that you know, we're not comfortable with is not an outcome that we wanted. Um, the, the third area of research that uh, I'm, I'm hoping that we can really dive into in the next few months is also looking at what are the skills that are needed to engage in digital transformation. Um, uh, there is a skill shortage around technology globally. Uh, there's an enormous amount of competition for talent um, in the private sector for people with digital skills. Uh, what I'm very worried about is that you know, people end up going in the private sector and the, the public sector ends up not having the skill sets it needs in order to transform itself and to modernize and be effective in the 21st century. And you know, government is just such a hugely important institution um, it's so critical to the day-to-day -day needs of so many citizens, particularly those who are most marginalized, uh, that if, if they don't acquire those skills, where does that leave government and where does that leave the public confidence in government? 
You know, one thing I'm particularly hopeful that we will do is maybe be able to look at um, huge amounts of data about skill sets people have in various countries and begin to figure out um, what is a, the quantity of skills that are available to do some of the work that I know people in the room are interested in doing. And then maybe also what are the proximate skill sets um, that exist. So uh, maybe, we don't, maybe we don't have enough people in our country who have all the right skill sets, but maybe they have almost all the right skill sets and with a little bit of training, they could suddenly have the skill sets that we need in order to do this work. And if we could begin to figure out what the breakdown of these skill sets was at kind of a macro level, at the country level, um, it might help us create policies that are more effectively uh, targeting kind of education and training to create a population that can deliver, that can work for the government and deliver the services that the government want to be delivered in the, in the 21st century. So those are some of the areas that I'm really interested in. Uh, those are some of the areas that the research that we're doing is focused on. And uh, I just want to say thank you again for taking interest in this, for believing that this type of work is important, and for, for helping making it possible. Uh, I hope you have an, an amazing conference, and I look forward to meeting many of you at some point in the future. Thank you.